Welcome back, everybody. Time for us to go behind the headlines. And the big headline yesterday here in my home city of Portland, Oregon, is that Oregon prosecutors will drop marijuana charges before legalization goes into effect. That's Multnomah County, Oregon, that they're talking about here. And the county here has a population of about three quarters of a million, about 750,000, 760,000 people. About 600,000 of us reside in Portland, and we are the state's largest city. Following our historic marijuana legalization victory with Measure 91, the Multnomah County District Attorney announced that the county will dismiss 50 pending marijuana cases where the violations in question will be made legal. In a statement that was released to the media, District Attorney Rod Underhill wrote, quote, because it is clear that a significant majority of voters in Multnomah County support the legalization of marijuana in certain amounts, this office will dismiss the pending charges related to conduct, which will otherwise become legal July 1st, 2015. Any remaining charges not impacted by Ballot Measure 91 will be prosecuted. End quote. Now, Measure 91 received 55.9% of the vote statewide, beating Washington's I-502 at 55.7%. Colorado's Amendment 64 at 55.3, and Alaska's Question 2 at 52.1, for the greatest measure of support for legalized marijuana markets ever recorded. Yeah, I know Washington, D.C.'s Initiative 71 did get 69.4% of the vote, but that doesn't legalize markets. But here in Multnomah County, the vote for Ballot Measure 91 was an overwhelming 71% in favor. Now, according to the statement from the district attorney, the county will not prosecute, quote, future charges for conduct related to marijuana possession and delivery of marijuana, which will become lawful under Measure 91, absent exceptional circumstances, end quote. So not only do those 50 pending charges get dismissed, but between now and July 1st, marijuana is essentially legal in or in Multnomah County, Oregon, right here in Portland. For the next eight months, they're not going to prosecute anything that's legal under Measure 91. That's fantastic news. That's a lot of arrests and a lot of tickets that aren't going to happen over the next eight months. That means right now, eight months prior to Measure 91 going into effect on July 1st, 2015, possession of one ounce of marijuana in public in Multnomah County Possession of eight ounces and four plants at home in Multnomah County. Possession of a pound of THC-infused edibles and a six-pack or 72 ounces of THC-infused liquids will not be prosecuted in Portland, Oregon or the rest of Multnomah County. Now, be aware, folks, that does not apply to hash oil. Under Measure 91, the homemade manufacture and possession of homemade manufactured hash oil is illegal. And under current law, it's illegal. So there's nothing that's protecting the dabs that you might have in Multnomah County. After Measure 91 goes into effect, you will be legal to possess an ounce of dabs that was manufactured by a licensed processor and sold in a licensed store. But possession of homemade dabs or making them yourself is going to be quite illegal. Still, an ounce in public and nonprofit transfers of an ounce to other adults, you know, if you're not getting paid, if you're just giving weed to someone else, that will not be prosecuted. Now, they do say absent exceptional circumstances. So, you know, if there were kids involved, firearms, other crimes, other drugs, you could still be facing charges under the marijuana laws, at least until July 1st, 2015. And just like Oregon, after they legalized in Colorado and Washington, the prosecutors in some of those counties, uh, King County, Washington, Clark County, Washington, they dismissed pending marijuana cases before their law went into effect as well. And since then, the misdemeanor case filings for marijuana in Washington fell from over 5,500 to just 120. In Colorado, case filings involving marijuana were averaging about 700 a month. 
Now they're down to about 133. That's all marijuana cases. So people growing, you know, a thousand plants and transporting a hundred pounds, all cases down to 133. And according to the most recent FBI uniform crime report, marijuana arrests nationwide have dropped by over 56,000. That's a drop of 7.5% and the fourth straight year that they have declined. Now, in two other metro area counties here in Portland, uh, Clackamas and Washington, they're still considering what they're going to do about this. But in Clackamas, the vote was 51.6%. And in Washington County, it was 55%. They're kind of conservative suburbs, so we'll see. I know nothing. Nothing. Uh, that would probably be the Washington County Sheriff there. <laughs> Hey, it's 420 in Denver, Colorado, and the rest of the Mountain Time Zone. I hope you're having yourself a good, relaxing, celebratory time. When we come back, we're going to look into that FBI uniform crime report in the Drug War Data Mine, show you how we get those figures when we come back. Four Twenty Radio, freeing your mind 24 hours a day. Hey, tokers and tokettes, Radical Russ here for the Canador, a practice.